you've been studying the human mind for a long time. What do you love most about the human mind? Like when you look at it, uh, we look at the fMRI, just the scans and the behavioral stuff, the electrodes, you know, the psychology aspect, reading the literature on the biology side, neurobiology, all of it. When you look at it, what 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 is most like beautiful to you? I think the most beautiful, but incredibly hard to put your finger on is this idea of the internal model. Mm -hmm. That it's like, there's everything you see and there's everything you hear and touch and taste, you know, every breath you take, whatever. <laughs> but it's all connected by this like dark energy that's holding that whole universe of your mind together, right? And without that, it's just a bunch of stuff. And somehow we put that together and it forms our so much of our experience. Mm -hmm. And being able to figure out where that comes from and how things are connected to me is just amazing. But just this idea of like that the world in front of us, we're only sampling this little bit and trying to take so much meaning from it. And we do a really good job, not perfect. I mean, you know, but that ability to me is just amazing. Yeah, it's an incredible mystery, all of it. It's funny you said dark energy because the same in, in astrophysics. You look out there, look at dark matter and dark energy, which is this loose term assigned to a thing we don't understand, which makes out, which helps make the equations work in terms of gravity and the expansion of the universe. In the same way, it seems like there's that kind of thing in the human mind that we're like striving to understand. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's funny that you mentioned that. So one of the reasons I wrote the book, amongst many, is is that I really felt like people needed to hear from scientists. And like COVID was just a great example of this because like people weren't hearing from scientists. One of the things I think that people didn't get was the uncertainty of science and how much we don't know. And I think every scientist lives in this world of uncertainty. And when I was... Uh, um, writing the book, I just became aware of all of these things we don't know. And so I think of physics a lot. And I think of this idea of like overwhelming majority of the stuff that's in our universe cannot be directly measured. Mm -hmm. I used to think, ha ha, I hate physics. So this is <laughs> physicists get the Nobel prize for doing whatever stupid thing. Yeah. It's like, there's 10 physicists out there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Just strong words. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm kidding. It's just, the physicists who do neuroscience can be rather opinionated. So sometimes I like to dish on it's that. It's all love. It's all love. That's right. I, I this is the ADHD talking. So, um, uh, but at some point I had this aha moment where I was like, to be aware of that much that we don't know and have a bead on it and be able to go towards it. That's one of the biggest scientific successes that I could think of. You are aware that you don't know about this gigantic section, overwhelming majority of the universe, right? And I think mm -hmm. the more what keeps me going to some extent is realizing the changing the scope of the problem and figuring out, oh my God, there's all these things we don't know. And I thought I knew this because science is all about assumptions, right? So have you ever read The Structure of Scientific Revolutions by Thomas Kuhn? Yes. That's like my only philosophy really that I've read, <laughs> but it's so brilliant in the way that they frame this idea of like, he frames this idea of assumptions being core to the scientific process and the paradigm shift comes from changing those assumptions. Mm -hmm. And this idea of like finding out this kind of whole zone of what you don't know to me is the exciting part, you know? Well, you are a great scientist and you wrote an incredible book. So thank you for doing that. And thank you for talking today. You've uh, decreased the amount of uncertainty I have uh, just a tiny little bit today and revealed the beauty of memory. This is a fascinating conversation. Thank you for talking today. Oh, thank you. It's been a blast. <laughs>